Great to see you Lowdown fans. First up for the Lowdown, 22nd of July. If you haven't already heard, a certain Mr Bradley Wiggins looks set to make history today by winning the Tour de France. The media are suggesting that Wiggins winning the Tour de France is the greatest British sporting achievement ever. You would be hard pressed to argue against this. But how tough is the Tour de France? The race typically covers around 32,000 kilometres, which is equivalent to 2,000 miles and lasts for three weeks. The race is broken down into day-long segments called stages. Individual times finish each stage are aggregated to determine the overall winner at the end of the race. The rider with the lowest aggregate time at the end of the day wears the leader's yellow jersey on the next day of racing. The tour is so tough because it requires the cyclist to have a huge VO2 max. VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen in millimetres one can use in one minute per kilogram of body weight. Typically, cross-country skiers have the highest VO2 max, with the endurance cyclist not far behind. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling rather lazy right now. Sticking with cycling, a journal from the Journal of Sports and Exercise Science has looked at the effects of caffeine doses on endurance cycling performance. Participants ingested either a placebo or a 3 or 6 gram point kilograms per body mass of caffeine 90 minutes prior to completing a set amount of work. The work was equivalent to 75% of peak sustainable power output for 60 minutes. Exercise was significantly improved in both the caffeine treatments compared to the placebo. The difference between the two caffeine doses was not statistically significant. In conclusion, a caffeine dose of 3 grams point kilogram body mass appears to improve cycling performance in well-trained and familiarised athletes. Double caffeine doses of 6 milligrams point kilogram body mass does not confer any additional improvements in performance. On Friday, we got our very first look at the Great Britain football team who took on Brazil. Now, believe it or not, Brazil have never won an Olympic gold in football. Brazil finished the 2-0 winners with goals from Sandro and a penalty from Neymar. Here are the statistics. Great Britain had 57% of the possession, 5 shots with only one of these on target. In contrast, Brazil managed only 43% of the possession, but had 20 shots, 12 of which were on target. It's not the size of your possession count, it's what you do with it that matters. App of the week this week is Eye Muscle. Eye Muscle allows you to zoom in and out, rotates a 3D model of the human body and all the muscles of the anatomy showing. You can tap on the area and it tells you about the particular muscle. It then goes on to give you a list of well animated exercise videos to work that particular muscle or group of muscles. This app is amazing for any sport enthusiast, in particular teachers, coaches and physios. Be sure to check out our Upload Your Own Articles and Resources page. It's great to promote your own site or blog, even if you don't have your own site or blog and you simply want to write and upload sport articles, sportgent.com is the platform for you. Click the link here for more details. And that's it, you lot, for the Lowdown, July the 22nd, 2012. I'm Carla and be sure to get the Lowdown when you want online here at sportgent.com. Have a nice week. Bye-bye.